hours is to actually look at my videos. Now, the first thing I made, honestly, may not be worth remaking. <laughs> the first thing from, from my videos, I mean. Um, it was just a... I don't want to say simple, maybe, honestly, that was the problem. It was a very convoluted craft. I know if you're watching, you can't see it. Um, but, yeah, it was basically... Oh my god, what is that thumbnail? <laughs> oh god, that's so bad. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't want to do that one. It's like a weird... Let's see the actual video here. It is, I guess... What, I have a giant SRB on the back, and then some strange, you know, we'll call it artistic plane. Yeah, I don't want to remake that one, honestly. Maybe I should, though. It's hard to say. Um, you know, though, I don't want this video to go on for too long, so I think I'm going to skip past that one. And maybe go to my first interesting one, I suppose, which is, um, actually just my second video is kind of cool. Poorly edited, very poorly edited, but I guess not, not only the concept, but the actual craft itself was kind of nice. Uh, let me change, I should probably go to display capture. Let's see about that. Okay, there we go. Seems to be working out. So, this was my first, actually, kind of interesting craft. Terrible editing. Didn't even speed up the footage until I was like, maybe here. Yeah, you know, it does not matter. Although, actually, something that's good for our purposes is that I showed myself build it. So we can see exactly what parts are in the craft. The only problem might be that um, parts have changed, probably. Maybe one of these. Yeah, actually, yeah, this was before they reskinned the thumpers. So it might be different, but I'm not sure. I'll just try to kind of <laughs> memorize this whole thing. Oh, God. Okay, let's see here. Oh, also, this, like, the schizophrenic spit up music. It's maddening. Okay, so I got, god damn it, I gotta go back again, I got five, uh, boosters going out, each of them decouple, yup, and then I have one central booster, um, well at least that's a convenient pattern, so each one is one tank shorter than the previous one, uh, they start out at six tanks, and then, what's the central one, like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Maybe if I go backwards. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Honestly, mute. I can't handle that. That was terrible editing. Never ever just speed up footage. Okay. Off. Frick. Frick. Oh my god. Such bad editing. I skipped past the part that we need to see. Oh my god. Oof. So, what to do about that? Oh, here we go. Oh my. Oh my, okay, things change. Guessing I did not have the Delta V to do that, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 toll, the center booster. Honestly, why am I starting out, though, with the bottom stage? That's my question. Let's see here. So you have normal capsule. Is that a flea? Did I stutter? Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense, I guess, because I think the fleas are lighter than the, uh, what are they doing called, like, Reliant engines? 
reliant or swivel, that's what they are. Um, these are better. You know, it might be easier, though, to do this. Go to the end of the video so that I see what I came out with. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, you can see there's the difference. That thing probably has some sort of gimbal, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, no. All right, I see here. The center one is the better vacuum engine one that has a higher specific impulse in the vacuum. Uh, and then those four other ones were swivel engines, I think they're called. They might be the reliant, though, I'm not totally sure. And let's see here. Okay, so because of the colorations that I went with, it's kind of difficult to see what tanks I actually used, but I'll take a wild guess. So now I gotta see, we're gonna actually go into the game. And try to rebuild what I can. Honestly though, I don't think any of these should be that hard to rebuild. Considering, at least not these earlier ones. My designs used to be so much simpler than they are now. Okay, let's see here. Watch, I'm going to totally screw this up. Oh, nope, of course. Okay. It's totally white, and I can't tell really at all which one... Wait. Oh, that is confusing. Okay. So these ones have gimbal. The Reliant ones are worse in vacuums. Why? Why did I go with that? Oh my god. Is it because I thought that having gimbal made it like heavier or something? Maybe the, is the Reliant heavier? Let's see here. Probably. Nope, it's lighter. Oh wait, actually, sorry, that would make more sense that it shoots it because it's lighter. So yeah, I guess maybe that's why. And yeah, look at that, we do get a fair amount of specific impulse just from this. Which is really why, if you're going to do something like, uh, really just any landing, you have to focus on reducing the mass of your upper stage. That's honestly the best advice I think you could give anyone about going to a, I wouldn't really call ELU exactly difficult. Um, maybe, I mean... It's a tiny, it's only a tiny bit bigger than the MUN, so to actually land there is not very difficult. To get there, I guess it's kind of costly, but it's like, it's only a few hundred more than Jewel. So honestly, getting to Elu is not that difficult, it's a little bit overrated. But, it's still a fun challenge, I guess. Oof, cannot spell Elu still. Tech Elu. Um, Alright, what next? What next? I'm pretty sure this was before I started to really fine tune things and to actually make it so that they had like a reduced amount of um, propellant. So it looks like I actually bothered to make those level perhaps a bit more than I did here <laughs> making this thing. Uh, oh my god. Okay, that's something that always confuses me but you can see really clearly there. This white stripe and this white stripe, I always see them as a reflection, as like light scatter. But they're actually white paint. If you see here, they don't change color. And look at that. It's white, it's not a reflect it's not a reflection. I've always thought that they were reflections. Not before this, but since a while like, ago, I guess. I used to think that those were reflections. Okay, let's see here. Next part of the video. Uh, oh, so this might have been in the time of not filming staging. <laughs> I may or may not have actually filmed what stage was before this, which means... Oh, uh, no, it's there. So what? Did I put one... Reliant engine on it. And then have four 
side boosters, I guess. Maybe? Uh, I would have to guess. Yes, there we go. That's actually a pretty good shot of it. Maybe. Could go here. Oh, oof. Yeah, so there you can see your out. God damn it. Okay, so it's hidden again. I'm gonna say. Where is it? Here. Considering the size of that bell, it looks like a good old. A good, a good old. Good old. Yeah, good. Good old. Good. Oh my god, it is good old. Good old. Good old Reliant. Reliant engine. Even though they kind of are worse than the swivel engines, which is funny in some ways. I guess that's kind of a weird combination of a higher mass in the swivel guys, but then also a higher vacuum specific impulse. It's not normally how things go. Uh, let's see how much, how much, uh, oh, I see what I did here. Oh, that's, oh my god, that's so much worse. Okay, so I forgot. This whole thing was done with the terrible, terrible, really tiny fuel tanks. Let's see, though, I didn't know KSP building secrets like this. And I'm screwing it up because I could have just done this. Okay, I'm just going to assume that's that many and hope that I'm correct. It may or may not be more or less than are in the actual video itself, but, you know, I'm going to say it looks like it might be more, but I think I actually showed me placing them here. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven. One less. I know that without counting them because I was doubling these, and when you, right, yeah, there's seven, when you double something, you are always bound to get an even number, so it's impossible that I could have gotten seven. That's math. Tr tricky math. <laughs> Oof, this is gonna get bothersome. After a while, I mean, I think I literally made this video in a single night. I don't think I actually spent more than a day doing this. I'm pretty sure I did it in one night. So, hopefully it won't take that long. I mean, that's the thing. I'm not going to do the actual mission with these. That would be way too much time. But... Even rebuilding them takes a fair amount of time, so... It would be really annoying if I had to do that, too. Just that level. Yeah, looks like it. And... I don't know. Is auto strut cheaty? It's definitely cheaty, but... Is it... Oh my god, okay. Did I do that? Oh, what? no, 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 oh god. Okay, so, looks like I changed my mind, and went with the lazier option, and then used the bigger ones. So, it's not actually this, it's actually three of these guys. Painted white, which looks about the same, but you can see slight differences. And then what did I do for these guys? does not explain. Okay. That's great. Good job past me. Good job. You know, maybe if I slow down the speed there. Uh, 
and noticed me shoot up the camera for a second there. There. Okay, yeah. It's two of the slightly bigger guys. So, honestly, I'm just going to ditch that. So, three, four... that good? Yeah, that looks about right. I honestly have never actually used, what is it called, BD, BDA? It's a BD, now. it's just BD Armory. Yeah, BDA is the abbreviation. Never actually used that before. For like the actual guns and stuff. I think you have to install it in order to get camera tools to work. I'm pretty sure it has a dependency on camera tools that the uh, website that you download it from does not actually specify. But yeah, I don't think it worked until I got camera tools. Or not, other, I don't think camera tools worked until I got, uh, what's it called, BDA, BTA, so. There's that to think about if you ever wanted to try to become a YouTuber or just make cool videos for the Reddit. Kimber Tools is definitely a, I guess, must-have. I mean, it's not, it's not really a must-have because if you know the inner workings of the actual, I don't want to say camera tools because that's confusing, but the camera mechanics, I guess, of the game three there, then you can get some pretty good shots without actually having camera tools installed. But camera tools can make your videos a lot more, I guess, zesty, maybe. Make them more interesting. There's definitely a reason why a lot of YouTubers, or if pretty much I think every Kerbal Space Program YouTuber has be- or, oh my god, I keep almost saying BDA. So, um, sorry, we just got some background chatter in here, so I'm just muting myself. What do you guys? Not really. They're not talking. So. Oh, this is always one of the most annoying things about the VAB that I find. It's how do you get things to move up. So the problem is, or I guess it's not really a problem, but it's just a nuisance. What you can do, if you haven't heard about this by now, actually, is you can change the root of a part and then you can move it up. And say I had more tanks going down here, then I could just root them and then just keep dragging it up. And you can do that for a long time, I think. Uh, so, I just wish there was a more convenient way to move things up higher and make them taller. Now, I'm assuming here I did not actually use, um, the very useful fuel ducts, but I might as well double check. I don't see. Oh, did I just click file? No. Okay, good. Did not click file explorer. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just checking if those are aligned with the tanks on the inside, and they are not, which is fine. I usually do that nowadays for aesthetics, because you know, like, look at this. You can see that it's out of line. It doesn't look super great. But it's not that important. Just gotta get that reliant on there, and then... What else do we... Okay, this stage, but I think... Did I change that stage? Later on here... Oh, God. <laughs> Classic. Oh, my... Okay, okay, I see how I edited this. So, it looks like... 
Where was that? That was still a random spot. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like the initial version. Oh no, that's not even the initial version. Is this it? No, okay, this looks like the successful launch. It must have been here, yes. So it looks like the initial version did this. Oh, oof, classic. And then I changed the stage there. That's what I'm looking for, but didn't actually show it. Oh my god, okay. And then also there's another stage above that. So, oh. <laughs> for a second there, I was like, wait, did I have camera tools? Is that a flyby? Okay, I see here. So that's getting into, oh no, that's a transfer stage. So I'm guessing, from the looks of it here, yeah, okay, that is not enough Delta V to get to Elu at all. So if I had to take a guess here, I'm assuming... I'm almost in orbit here, uh, so that's not going to get used up that much more. And then what's this? Okay, so that's that stage being... Okay, so yes, that is a... That... I guess there's multiple transfer stages, so... That is a transfer stage? Hard to say. And now, I don't know why I would use SRBs. I would not use SRBs today, because... They still have an engine on them, so you still have the dry weight of the engine. And then that engine is just trash compared to um, regular liquid fuel engines. Enough about that, though. So, here it looks like I got one, two. Ooh, I made that one a different color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. Uh, let me try that again. It gets very indistinct here. I can kind of see some blotches, some systematic, maybe not systematic, but um, blotch patterns. That could be useful. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you know, I'm gonna guess seven, but something I can do to double ch oh, oh, don't tell me. Wait, it's, I'm just looking at the side here, and it looks like one of these was not labeled. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, that's great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, me. So, so <laughs> I think that has 500 delta V, but it's hard to tell because I unlocked the, I guess, valves on each of these tanks as they were burning. So, uh, we're going to have to kind of wing it there. I mean, we already, I've already guessed that it's seven tanks, but knowing the delta V of that stage would be useful for sure, so it's kind of a letdown that I did that. I think I used to think that it would be like a giant deal if you took, like, or no, actually what it was, I didn't have the time control mod yet, and the time control mod allows you to pause the game and to still be able to interact with stuff, so it's kind of like... If you know the camera mode, where if you pause and then press F2, it's kind of like that, where you can still move around and everything, but you can still interact with parts. So, it's actually very useful for, um, I guess anything, really. Any kind of mission. It definitely can be very useful. Now, here, I'm wondering... Oh, yeah, okay. Did not make that... Or, did not... Yeah, I guess I did not make that the root part. Again, after changing it... That's honestly what I'm talking about, though. Once you start to delve into bigger and bigger rockets, what you'll notice is that when you change the root part to something lower, it totally messes up the staging, the automatic staging, which is why this guy was all the way like up here and not at the bottom where it should be. And also, it's, it shouldn't be difficult for the game to tell that, because why would it be? Oof, so, actually that's going to be a little bit of a nuisance, it looks like. This is kind of the alternative, when you don't have fuel ducts, you can just shut off the valves with those, and then just do enable crossfeed. 
Oof, almost hit, almost hit launch there. And then I gotta do the same thing here. Actually, though, there I can't enable crossfeed. And then even... Hang on a second. Where are the engines? Okay. Elu is not that heavy. Okay, 2.67. So let's see here, what if we just got rid of these? Game. You gotta, oh wait, you gotta do that. Great. Game. Are you gonna tell me what the thrust to weight ratio is? Is it just gonna freeze? Oh my god. Well, that's a classic Kerbal Space Program problem. Honestly, I would appreciate a simple bug fix and, I guess, functionality fix um, update for little things like this in the VAB. Although, honestly, I could do the math to determine the uh, thrust to weight ratio of that. I just want to check. Stream. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So. Now I have to fix my staging again because it's screwed up. So there. There. Okay, this goes here. That stays there. And, uh. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned by the fact that all of these are reporting zero delta V. You know, honestly, what always works for me is to just exit the VAB and then re-enter it, and then it should work. Because that would be useful to know. Just with this gener the general principle that... Uh... Okay, yeah, there we go. Yes, see there, it's about 500, but I could have sworn that in the video, I saw it say, even over 500, 500, yeah, you see how much fuel is already taken up by that point? Let's just watch this. Huh, no, I guess not. Also... Something that's good to know about Delta V is that you actually have more Delta V when half of, or I guess in half of your, um, feel it's kind of hard to explain. It's like Delta V is determined by two things pretty much, and that's the specific impulse of the engine that you're using and the dry mass of the craft. So dry mass is composed of everything like the engines, the tanks themselves, payload, uh, so if you're talking about an individual stage, basically, what happens is as the fuel drains out, I guess you could say, um, the craft accelerates more with the fuel that you have less because it weighs less. And if you know Newton's third, I think third law of motion, wavy, oh my god, no, this is a little bit, this is an oof. This is an oof moment. Let's look it up. Third law, or... What? Maybe, uh, first? There's one, two, and three. I know that much. So, Newton's... Third law. Is that the formula? No, okay, yeah, that's the reaction, or action and reaction one. Is it the second? This is honestly kind of disappointing. Wait. Is it the second? Yeah. Yeah, it's the second law. Okay. So Newton's second law is the formula that the force um, exerted on a craft, I guess, is the mass of the craft times the acceleration of the craft. So what you can do, quite simply, is calculate the acceleration and get that it is the force 
being applied. You can kind of reverse your thinking and say, okay, acceleration is the force being applied to this craft, which is a very common situation with rocketry. You know, an engine is providing force or creating force to push the rocket forward. So the acceleration is equal to that force divided by the mass of the craft. So mass, fuel has mass, so as you lose fuel, the acceleration of the rocket goes up, but the rate that you're using fuel stays the same. So in essence, you accelerate more for the same amount of fuel consumption. And that's why you will notice, um, Uh, it's so hard to explain in these terms. You'll notice that, I guess, when you have half of your fuel left, in that half you will have more delta V than you had in the first half. I guess that's the best I can do, honestly, to explain it in terms of the, uh, actual, uh, I guess, staging? Not really staging editor, maybe. It's fine, though. Uh, so let's see here. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. You know, I'm gonna go back here because I did show it. Oh, okay. And then this was also the flunked one. If you just, <laughs> if you just watch that. <laughs> oh my god, it also looks low resolution. What the hell? Please tell me that I just scrolled up a tiny bit or just change the camera angle to see the top of that. Maybe. Uh, that's too low resolution to see. Okay. I think I should be able to count it from here. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then, oh, oh, I'm looking at the completely wrong stage now. I just realized, okay, we used the Terrier engines, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of cheap. I used the Terrier engines. It's like level three, I think. Level three tech. Or, no, oh my god. Okay, that's strange. Thumpers. Yeah, look at that. So... Um, I guess I have one, actually it's easier here, one, two, three, four, uh, one, I'm gonna try that again, let's see here, one, two, three, you know what, actually this black line helps out because I can see for sure that that is the full-sized medium, and then maybe I can see when I'm building this thing in the editor, the size relative, or the, this gap here, that could be useful also. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five for now. That's what I'm gonna guess. And then also this is up higher. That's actually something I could probably talk about. Um, I guess when you decouple boosters like this, if you have the center of the mass of the boosters be above the decoupler like it is here with this tiny unbuilt booster, it'll actually potentially, if it's long enough, if the booster is long enough, it will actually rebound and hit the craft as you are accelerating forward this way. So, you generally want the um, decoupler to be above the booster, I guess. It's not actually above the booster. It's kind of misleading, but it's kind of like that. Okay, so I stop at the engine. So, that means I gotta go up higher. Oof. Aesthetic department cold. Wants you to orientate those correctly. Oh, actually here we might have a problem. See how that's out of line. Is that out of line? Nope. Okay, that's just out of line. So 
just gonna do that and then that. In case that looks all good. Just gonna scoop that down to level. Honestly, I might improve upon my previous design a bit. Because why not, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then, okay, two hammer. No, actually. I said five here. So I'm going with five. And then, yeah, that's the thumper. Okay, so it was right before. I was wondering about that. And then this is the hammer. So is that, does that look correct? Yep, that looks just about lined up. Awesome with the beginning of the engine bell there. Also, I'm not... No, actually, yes, I definitely used auto strip because what we saw in that part of the video where it exploded, um, that's when you don't use auto strut with something like this. Honestly, auto strut is not a cure-all, though. If you have a big enough craft with heavy enough parts they will still do that same exact thing where they just completely, I guess, I like the word flop apart, or the phrase flop apart. That's generally what I call it when they do that Kraken attacks. So that goes there. Uh, oof, just got disoriented. That goes there. And then that goes there. Oh yeah, also, uh, I just realized I have not actually even said what my YouTube channel is. It's the same exact thing as my Twitch name, and also my Reddit name, it's just Ash Compton. I am just a senior in high school, so I've just been producing a lot of videos during quarantine, because I don't have a job uh, to go on to, and also the amount of work that they actually make you do in school has been significantly reduced because of quarantine for, I guess, obvious reasons. Because students do not learn super great when they don't have physical teachers to learn from. Okay, so it looks like this is the correct one. This honestly could be the hardest stage because definitely at least before when I was Looking at it, I was not able to determine it from this angle. It's fairly obvious there's at least at least five and then six. So there's at least six from the bottom. I can confirm that. So if there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. I'm gonna try nine. Oh, and then also, even before that, there's the core stage to worry about. Which, uh, is that an engine shield? Yes, sheath. So I think, actually, I'm just gonna lay this down and see, maybe I uh, let's see here. Maybe if I just try to build it, then I can compare it to the picture and then see if I'm incorrect. If I am correct, sorry. Uh, so I got five. I said f nine, right? So just gonna put that there. Oh, the one problem is gonna be what engine is that? I think it was surrounded by Reliance, um, but. I don't actually, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. It was surrounded by Reliance, and also, if it, it's, if it, or no, actually, I'm saying Reliance, but it, Reliance, but the, uh, the ones that have gimbal, I believe, are the swivel engines, so. Alright, actually, I'm not totally sure about that. Oh, that's gonna be fun to recreate. We do all of those, so. Of course, it doesn't say there. Um, you know, though, that does give me some useful information. Okay, those come off. 
yeah, okay, so it has just over a thousand, and it is never actually above one TWR, one TWR, so I think I'm going to guess that it is the lighter engine, the swivel engine, and I'm thinking here, should I do, yeah, I think that makes sense, that, and then put that there, oof, okay, uh, we can work with that, pull that up there, and then put the orange paint, I mean, is that paint variant, I guess, the orange variant, uh, and one final check of aesthetic was the core stage orange. No. The core stage there had this thingy from the looks of it. Actually, also, when I say one final check, that is not the final check for sure because. I like to see how does this line up. Okay. So it looks like it does line up how I have it. I think that's actually. Does it have black? The black, yeah, black variant at the bottom. Uh, so I gotta do. Oh, oof, oof. That, and you know, I'm gonna make that black, even if it wasn't black in the video, because that just looks better. Kinda, kinda looks weird against the orange. Let me see about this. You know, are these actually level? They look level, but they look level there, but not really here, but you know, now it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, because I think that looks better. And then just the nose cone to cap things off. Do a little bit of auto strutting. And then we can move on to the most grindy stage, probably the uh, core stage. Now, see, that's the thing. This is not the first stage. You have all of these to deal with. Um, and I think, from the looks of it, I can count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so it's 15 long. Also, what I was saying, by, I think, by the looks of it, uh the uh, boosters surrounding it do not actually come off. Which makes sense. That's actually something that you have to do a lot of the time when you're using these worse engines because um, if you have parallel staging at the beginning, maybe the core stage is just more efficient and has less thrust than the boosters on the outside. Um, or, you know what it could be? I think this is the most common case, really, that the core stage has a ton of fuel in it, but it has the same exact engine as all the other ones, which are way smaller boosters. Actually, yeah. Unless these guys seriously have that little thrust, this is actually terrible engineering if I have, uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, also, these guys don't look like, they look like they decouple off, so I need to make sure to keep those. But, um, yeah, like, if I say, if say, um, this much, got a th TWR of over one, <laughs> and then if I just added a bit more fuel, then that would be much more efficient, because then you don't have to have the weight of these guys, which would cost more money. I mean, I guess it's totally true that the... The uh, goal of this video was never, I guess, efficiency. That much is for sure. <laughs> Just look at these parts, they're terrible. It's like, wait, what do you mean? What's the, I want to see. Okay, 320. Actually, 320 is not too bad. It's pretty bad, though. So, oh, that's actually maybe a good slot for my intended purpose here. Or not slot, um, shot. Yeah, okay, they look like they're all swivel engines. 
and then just a sort of moment of truth how many boosters are left when they call, all come, come off uh, okay there it looks like another set comes off so I think there's three yes there's three okay so we gotta do three sets of boosters and then yeah okay that's the final version and then here I can actually count it Oof. Uh, so two minus so do I have this engine yep good got the engine there two minus and then I should probably also see what's the symmetry oh is it no it's time to six symmetry right yeah yeah that's this time six okay good so facing the wall like we have here is where I placed them that's good I think they go right there am I correct yes also so I just gotta get these guys on and this should go pretty smoothly from now on honestly from the looks of it if you're watching the staging over here it is getting pretty messed up so that's not gonna be of great use or help at all I'm gonna fix that later um, that'll be that that will be annoying like one time I think on my um I did a mission to moho using only SRBs and when I was actually making the rocket to that... Oh, did I never make them white? Oof, yeah, I never made them white. Uh, honestly, I think I'm going to make them white in this one. When I was doing the mission to Moho using only SRBs, I literally got hurt. Uh, maybe that's the wrong word. My um, middle finger was numb from scrolling up and down with this thing. And that was before I realized you can drag. Oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh no! You can, you can drag along, along. If you have a lot of stages, you can just drag it there. Because with my mouse, it's not exactly the most soft scroll wheel. So after a while of scrolling, very um, furiously, maybe not furiously, but frequently, uh, it actually became noticeably, noticeably painful. Which isn't good. I mean, my mouse is fine. Um, maybe it actually doesn't really fit my hand that well because I have very long fingers, actually. Maybe not very long, but pretty long fingers. And so, generally, like, a bigger, flatter mouse is better for my hand or hands. Um, and I kind of have, like, a round, very... Um, Maybe obtuse is a good word for it. A very round and obtuse mouse. <laughs> now it sounds to me like I'm talking about an actual mouse. <laughs> Oof. I just thought I was in the VAB when I was looking at this. Even though I wasn't even in full screen, that was stupid. As you can see, so it's another three down. And then I think I go to two tanks, right? Yeah, two tanks. So actually, I should do set three down. Oof, <laughs> that loading time. I mean, my computer has 16 gigs of RAM. It's just a, or I, okay, I shouldn't say just, but it's an Alienware laptop. Um, Kerbal Space Program depends so heavily on RAM. Like, actually, you can see how much it is using my RAM in the bottom corner. Wow, that's actually really high. I have never seen it been used that high in any of my other programs. I've never really paid attention to that before now, actually, in Kerbal Space Program. But yeah, right there is proof. Kerbal Space Program uses up a ton of RAM. Which is why I saw someone say on the Reddit that Metlown has a computer with 64 gigabytes of RAM. 
which is absolutely insane. People talk about how you don't need 32 gigabytes of RAM unless you're like editing videos. Well, <laughs> just imagine 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's absolutely nuts. I wish I had my computer, honestly, like that. That's my one hope with this YouTube channel, is that I can get a desktop <laughs> with more <laughs> RAM, pretty much. I mean... Okay, I wouldn't say that's my one hope. That's, that's not why I have a YouTube channel. I think it's kind of stupid to do YouTube and think like, Oh, I'm gonna become, like, Mr. Beast and get... Or not get, but become a millionaire. And I'm gonna have so much money and it's gonna be awesome. It's just a terrible reason to do YouTube, if I'm being completely honest, because the chances of it happening are so unlikely. I gotta actually, I have not actually pulled up this, or sorry, this Twitch stream on my cell phone, which is what you normally do when you're streaming, because otherwise, as you saw before, I had to go onto Streamlabs to see how many people are watching it. But if I just view it on my cell phone, then I can see what is going on. Oh, that's great. Okay. So, on my cell phone, I am logged on to my other account. Oh, God. How do you log out? I don't know. It's just a bunch of arrows and... Okay, let's check the gear. Settings? Account. Okay. Edit. No, no, not edit bio. Sorry, I had a little bit of a conversation there with my family. Uh, yeah, I honestly cannot find out how the hell do you log out of Twitch on a cell phone. It's not easy. There is no clear logout button from what I can see. You know, I'll just, I'll just sneak real quick. Okay, so says three. It's more than I normally get when I stream other games, though. I'll say that much. Uh, so, uh, okay, again, I gotta go down to two, sorry about that, from five, okay, should it not be that hard, hard, oh my god, sometimes <laughs> I go into a British pronunciation of something on accident and have to stop myself because it sounds terrible because I can't do a British accent for my life at all, I just sound like a stupid... Australian, or no, okay, 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 not a stupid Australian, but an American trying to imitate an Australian person, and it is just never good, and I just do it accidentally sometimes. I don't know, people, people have said to me in person that I have an accent, or they think that I have an accent, which I guess, oof, that's bad. I guess that makes sense, kind of. I think I have a weird way of pronouncing things, honestly. I think this is just what it is, listening to my videos. And also, I know one thing, and that is that I have a big palate, apparently. I have a big hard palate, um, in the front of my mouth. Which I think plays a pretty big role in how you speak, or at least the sound of your voice. Just an interesting um, tidbit, I guess. Honestly, also after this, it's actually my father's birthday. So I should probably <laughs> go and do stuff. Oh no, I think I have one too many on all of these. Looking at it, because I have five, I'm, um, I'm about to get to five. You know, whatever, I'll just, I'll just roll with it. Roll with the punches. He just came over to tell me that he wants to go on a walk, so I think I'm gonna end this stream once I have finished this little bit here. And then I'll probably continue this tomorrow, since this is kind of a fun, mildly fun idea, maybe. Uh, 
recreating my old crafts and also doing a stream. Streams are kind of... I mean, I guess they're kind of, um... Not time-consuming, that's the wrong word. I mean, I guess, in a sense... You know what? It's that you have less freedom over what you want to do when you're streaming compared to when you're just making a video. You know, like, I can spend as long as I would like to make a video, but in a stream, cannot do that. But, then again, I am the one who made the stream, and also I'm having fun, so... It does not matter that much. I think I'll probably pick this back up tomorrow, though. Just once I make sure... I want to see... Oh, oof. I want to see if this thing can get into orbit. I think that's that's all. Or maybe even... So, oh, oh no, what just happened? Okay, there we go. Maybe even simpler, I want to see if it just has enough Delta V to do an ELU mission. I gotta slide these guys all up. For the aesthetic, honestly. Aesthetic controls so much of what I... Um, decide, I guess, because, you know, it's like you want to, uh, I guess, impress people with a thumbnail, maybe not impress, but, you know, you want to make your thumbnail look good, and so you want the craft to look good, because it's kind of difficult to make something, maybe, I mean, this looks kind of cool, I guess. Honestly, I should make these white, though, that's for sure. You know, actually, maybe I'll make a uh, sort of, I guess, striated pattern here. Yeah, maybe like I could do. The whole zebra. I mean, it's not really zebra, but I guess, um, striped pattern on some of these boosters here. Okay, that doesn't look too terrible, and then maybe, like, every other... How's that gonna look like? Oof. Oh, yeah, and then make this black. Um, make these guys white. Does that, or does that not look terrible, is what I'm gonna ask myself in a second here. Uh, okay, I think a few different things about this when I see this. First, like, candy cane. Second, prison. Because of the stripes, I guess. I don't know why that makes me think of prison, but it does. It mostly, it mostly makes me think of, like, a dyed black candy cane, honestly. I like it with just the one. Ring of boosters, black. More, you know, maybe I could do that and then have these guys be black. Yeah, that's fair. It's, it's not super noticeable either. Maybe actually, I don't, I don't really like that though. I could try this, keeping with the style that I have kind of set for the rest of this thing that the bottom guys are Black. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think that looks, I'd even say, pretty good. I think I had the winglets. Right, yep, the winglets. Oof. Sometimes I click the wrong buttons. Like, actually, before, when I was talking about the problems that I had with the VAB, that made me think here, unlike the SBH, you can't um, do like I think it is, either control or shift and then the uh, mouse wheel, push the mouse wheel down and then slide the camera position around um, linearly. You can only do it in circles and you can, on you can only do it up and down, but I don't think you can do it side by side like that way or this way that way, I'm pretty sure they restrict you there. 
Uh, that's another thing that's annoying about them. I'm just thinking here. You know, okay, aesthetics don't matter that much. I'm just going to leave it like that and solve the massive... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it looks like they all got bunched into one thing. This guy, I'm just going to put it up there for now. Same with that guy. Um, so they all go off at once. Okay, it might have made this a little bit convenient for me. Okay, so at least these decouplers are in orbit order. I used to say decouplers. Oh, oh, oh I forgot to fix this, though. Just gotta make it sure, make sure that the design is consistent. Oh, no. Oof. Wait, did it just... No, okay, good. I thought it disorganized them all again. Move that last one up, and then we should be good in terms of the actual physical design with the engines and everything. Hmm, honestly, that looks kind of weird. I know I said aesthetics don't matter this much, but they do kind of matter. Um, should we call that, 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 uh, that, and there. Okay, so these should be all in order now, right? And those guys decouple, uh, and then these fuel tanks get drained for a while. Wait, did I? Oh no! <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, so I appear to have forgotten. Or did I? No. Okay, it was just hidden. Good. And that is still in order because I feel like I have had experiences, or at times where I take something off and put it back on, and then all of the staging is out of order again. And it is not fun. I will say that much for sure. These guys are probably that, right? Okay, awesome. Oh, glitching again. Okay, honestly, I don't know if that's a glitch or just like lag because of a limitation of frame. Yeah, oh my god, look at that. 12 gigabytes, 628 megabytes of RAM using, being used right now. And I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that is why, yeah, okay, part count 563. Actually, that's kind of confusing because normally by now it's lagging all to hell in the VAB, but for some reason it's not. Actually, you know what? No, actually, yes, I do get lag. I do get lag in the VAB, that much is for certain. Um. I just could not quite remember there if I did or not. Because, of course, in the actual... Um, or, I guess, not in the actual game, but when you're actually flying... Oof, okay, I got to the wrong position. When you're actually flying, the game has to calculate, like, uh, gravity and aerodynamics and heating, and then also the way... Oh, that was, that was some weird intonation. Also, the way that the parts interact with each other. So here, they're not really doing that much, but when we actually have this thing out on the launch pad or flying through the air, then suddenly it takes a lot more RAM, I think, and a lot more processing power, which is probably why people get so much lag in this game because of RAM. I have Razer Cortex installed on my computer, which is supposedly a program that, uh, limits the RAM usage of your computer. Oh. I had a little mistake here. Um, and it says it works, but honestly, I just got it recommended by a friend, so I have absolutely no idea if Razor Cortex really works or not. Or not. Um, I would have to guess that it does, because why 
<laughs> like, why? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't it? It would seem pretty strange to me to just put out a fake program like that, unless, of course, you were gonna have viruses. That's the thing. So, considering that I know I don't have any viruses, I think. <laughs> um, I don't see why you would just put out a fake program. But that's the thing. I have no way of actually. Well, no, that's not true. I could probably check if I had a game open, and you can kind of tell Razor Cortex to not clean up your um, RAM usage. It just shuts down all the random background processes when you're playing a video game, pretty much. You can tell it to not do that, and I can see how much RAM is being used, and then I could tell it to do that, and then if it lowers... This is from MSI Afterburner, by the way. If you're just wondering why there are those numbers in the bottom corner, there's my um, computer thermals pretty much and then also just the usage of various things oh yeah also look at my vram my vram is pretty high it actually only has like about 400 no 500 yeah about 500 megabytes of ram left in my vram so actually maybe a lot of usage in ksb comes from vram that's a possibility that i haven't really considered yet enough about that though i gotta see I think I got this set up, so those, th these go, then they decouple, and then I gotta do this. Actually, I don't. I can just do... Wow. Wow. How has it taken me this long to realize that you can just block off one of them? Oh, actually, wait. Wait. No. I was right before. It's because if the liquid, or if everything wasn't blocked off, it would split it, split it across the decoupler between the boosters in the center stage. So, it looks like we are all good on these. Then these should go fine. So those go decouple. Oof. Staging this up right there. Then this goes. Uh, do I have crossfeed? Yep, have crossfeed disabled. Uh, mm. There you go. And then it does not report a delta V number here because it uh, because of um, this because they blocked off. So you'll have to reactivate these, which is, I'm just guessing, actually, that that's how it went in the video, but let me see, to be certain. Also, by the way, if you don't know, uh, my YouTube channel is Ash Compton. If you want to look it up, I should probably... I'm completely new to streaming, really. I've only streamed, like, three times before, and I still have not actually figured out how to make it display like text and stuff over the screen um which I should probably figure out because I think streaming is just a kind of fun way to connect with subscribers and then also just random people on the internet so that they can see how things are made so to speak I guess you know it's a more direct way of communicating with the community compared to uh I guess just comments okay oh great so fades out uh yes okay that is exactly what I did there wait though so we got those fine why do I have a decoupler there then Let's solve this mystery. If I had to take a guess, it's because... I don't in the video, which is kind of what it looks like there. And I, I just kind of assumed that I would have a decoupler because I wasn't really thinking about it. It's been kind of cheating-ish. Depends on your opinion about auto shrut. But uh, yeah, looks like I do not have any decoupler for that stage. Which makes staging just a tiny bit simpler, but also, I think for me, it's going to make it more painful, because now I'm going to have to change things again. Right. Is that the case? 
Yeah, all those go, and that goes. These go, oh. No, I think it's just, oh, kind of. Decoupler, where are you? Just random empty stages, okay, there it is. Random empty stages, <laughs> filling the staging stack. What is this actually called? I'm not sure. Staging stack, probably. Maybe staging list. I don't actually remember. It's been so long since I've done the tutorials. Uh, though, yeah, it looks like I got that set up right. D comes off. Things go. Um, it's gonna be not lazy and actually bother to check the upper stage. That decouples. Burns decouples. Good. Just cut off. Okay, well, this looks like it is almost a finished product. Decouples, uh... Um... And we should be good. I just want to double check. There's nothing random in the upper stage that I forgot about. Oop. Oop. Oh. Oof. Yeah. There... <laughs> there was. <laughs> that would have been bad. Getting the heat shield is never a good feeling. But I almost did it just that. Luckily, I did not. How does this end? Why does it take such a long time to get to the ending? You know, oh, whatever. It does not matter. Oh no, is YouTube having problems? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's me planning the, uh, I think, return to Earth. Yeah, and then that's about 2,000 in that stage, which I think we have, but let me see. Oh, oh, I'm a little bit of an idiot here, because I did this when they are not supposed to trade fuel in the first place, and all I have to do to stop that from happening is... Oh, wow. <laughs> I literally already did. Okay. So, oh. Maybe I built this better this time. <laughs> I doubt that's what's going on here, but let me see to be sure. Like, one, two... Yeah, two here. So the boosters are completely correct, that much is for sure. Um, and then this, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh wait, that's just way too much, Jesus. That is way too much Delta V in that stage. Honestly, if I were to build this today, it would be like half the size. Because I have about double the amount of Delta V in this thing, or in this stage, so that's needed needed um so honestly I could probably cut this thing in half the upper stage in half and if you do that then you can basically cut everything else in half that's kind of a general rule of thumb I'm not sure if that's true oh what's that there on did I play science mode yeah I played science mode I think it looks like I have a pressure gauge and a temperature gauge played pretend science mode, I guess. Yes, though. Okay, I see. I messed this up. There's no Mark 1 fuel tank. Is that actually even a Mark 1 fuel tank? Is that what they're called? No. Full T100 or whatever they are. Honestly, I have never bother to remember the names of those fuel tanks or really any of the fuel tanks I just know them by like mark 1, mark 2, mark 3 but that's not even that accurate or <laughs> once I get to like the bigger ones I'm like okay this is the Saturn 5 first stage okay that looks like I have more than enough Delta V by far so I've saved this thing 50,000 times so I guess they made it kind of easy 
to actually upload it to Steam. Um, vessel type ship. Nope. None here. Sure. Initial version. Oh boy. Um. Honestly, I don't think that matters. Seem to public. Okay. I guess that works. Is that all I have to do to upload it to Steam? And then I think, uh, you just put a link to it on Steam. Let's see, okay, um... It's maybe a little bit concerning that... I... I don't see... <laughs> the upper stage, um... Let me try... Okay. So let's open up Steam here. Go to the workshop. Uh, actually, I don't know why I would think this would upload my stuff. But, um, can I do this? Mintech Elu, what is it called? Yeah, just Mintech Elu. Okay, I guess that doesn't do anything, so, uh, I'm just gonna do the easy thing and upload it again. Actually, I'll just leave that empty. Um, ship, visibility to public, yep. Damn, 523 tons. I guess that's literally it. Um, in terms of actually putting it onto my YouTube video, I will have to do this, copy and paste, report, um, and then I'll favorite it, just to make sure that I can check. So, that's it, I'm gonna end the stream now, um... Oh no. Oh no, Kerbal Space Program froze. I think Kerbal Space Program froze. Maybe maybe just the VAB froze. Whatever. Um Yeah, though, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna end the stream now because I have some personal biz that I gotta take care of. It's my father's birthday, so uh Yeah, he wants to go on a walk, and so I'm gonna be a good son and do that. So, uh actually I should also say if you wanna to subscribe to my channel. It's just Ash Compton, literally just Ash Compton, um, A S H space C O M P T O N. Some people misspell it sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream and that my endless, um, I guess stream of chatter was satisfying, maybe mildly amusing, and yeah, we'll see you next time. I think I'm, actually. I'm going to do this t again tomorrow, I think, if I have the time, because, um, I would say that it is a heartless cash grab if I was monetized, but I'm not. So it's not a heartless cash grab, but it is, you know, I'll say a fun way to connect with the community and to support my channel. And that's the note that I'll end on, so, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow or later, something, one of those two.